to survive Ghana Premier League is very tough and very difficult if your team is not up to the standard. And uh, if you are a coach and your skills and your, your, your technical ideas is not solid, you will go back to Division 1. <laughs> and your team will sack you even before the end of the season. My name is Kofi Atinka, and uh, today I'm coming to give you four coaches that care is not taken. They will be sacked even before the end of 2021-2022 league season here in Ghana. And these coaches are young and promising coaches, but a uh, Ghana... Premier League last season started 18 Premier League teams with 18 coaches. But at the end of the season, it was only three or two teams that their coach, which started with them, complete, <laughs> completed or complete with them. As I'm talking sack their coach, has folks sack coaches, Nidema, uh, Legon City, oh my. 16 out of the 18 teams last in sack their coaches because they want to survive and these four uh, coaches I'm coming to give to uh, they will probably be sacked number one is a uh, coach Nuruddin Amadou of King Faisa Charlie King Faisa is a team that for the past two three seasons have been struggling to uh, survive in Ghana Premier League and you know Alaji Gusa also is a fan of uh, foreign coaches so if you're a coach and you come and you don't perform well even though yes yesterday they won against uh, Wafa by a long goal to nail but hey Alaji Gusa is a fan of foreign coaches so if you're a foreign coach a, a local coach and you don't perform to the standard you want and uh, get into the latter part of the league and you find out that he's going down to the relegation zone he will sell him and Alaji uh, coach uh, Nudin Amedu is also young coach coming on, but hey guys, Kimfesa is not try is not Marshall sure Marquette sure team that you come and test. Right? Gusa will not tolerate you. He will sack him. He always want to play in Ghana Premier League. So Amedu job is on the line. I'm not prophet of doom. I'm not saying that they they should sack him, but that's how it is. Kimfesa known of certain coach when the results are not coming. So. He is number one on the line. Number two is uh, Ernest Thompson of Asgood. Ernest Thompson is a former coach of uh, Sean Drafts. He sent them to relegation. Yes, you can argue that he sent them to relegation because hey, they, there was a protest against them and it's because of a, a management issue. That's why they were sent to relegation. But Dr. Koku Fumpong is also a fan of foreign coaches. And Dr. Bukufi Mpong want to compete with House of Work and Kotoko. As good fans want to compete with House and Kotoko. They want to go to Africa. They want to uh, make a mark in Ghana Premier League. But Coach Ernest Thompson is, is not there yet. He's not that coach that uh, As good will rely on. Yes, yesterday they won. It's early days yet. If you win your first <laughs> league match, does not guarantee that you win the league. That's not guaranteed that you will be in the top four or top two or top three or top fourteen or top three, whatever it is. But Dr. Lofim Paul, we know last season they brought in four or five foreign coaches. But and as Thompson, I can say for a fact that his job is on the line. If he doesn't take care, he will be sad because his level of coaching is not up to the standard that as good want that as good fans want the team to be. Then number three is uh, Michael Osei of BBN Gold Stars. Michael Osei is uh, a legend of Kumasi Santi Kotoko. He has been in Ghana Premier League coaching Kotoko before. He coached Bakwai Youth Academy. He went to uh, Madrid Stars. So that is in Kasua. Sometimes in Madrid in Kasua. And now he's coaching uh, BBN Gold Stars. BBN Gold Stars is a young team. He just came to Ghana Premier League and you know that BBN is not having a Premier League team since, 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 since the 0018. So BBN Ghosters will not sit down and, and look at uh, Michael Osset to send them back to uh, Division 1. Yesterday they won, as I said at the beginning. Win your first league match does not guarantee that you win the league or you will be able to stay in the league to be competitive. And BBN fans and the management will not like to go back just a season or perform abysmally. So Michael says standard is not yet up there. And, he, he, and you know, if you watch 
Ghana Premier League, the coaches and are very experienced and very tactical coaches. So Michael Rose also is is not there yet. Michael Rose job is also on there. And then the number four is um coach Igenashios or say Fosu of Midiama. Yes, Midiama is a team that allow coaches to grow. When we look at uh coach Samo Bodu, he was allowed to grow in Midiama's team. Then he was uh he left and joined House of Hope. And last season, Yao Preko and uh, a champion, your champion joined Midiama. This very talented, promising, great coaches went to Midiama, but Midiama sacked them. Why they were sacked? Because they couldn't compete with Kotoboyan Haas. In Ghana Premier League, Kotoboyan Haas is, is the standard. So if you're a coach and you don't perform to the standard, you'll be sacked. And Midiama also want to compete. And Midiama also want to rock shoulders with Haas and Kotoko. So if you're a coach and you go there, and yesterday, you lost four goals to net to the team, so the man is shaking. People call him a uh, Twitter coach because he will play a draw with Kotoko or has and come to Twitter and start uh, making quote unquote uh, noise. So these coaches, uh, Lou Jin Amedu of uh, Kimfesa, uh, Ginesh Osef Osu of uh, Midiama, and um. Michael Osei of uh, Benny Gold Stars and the Thompson of uh, Ice Gold. These are four coaches I can uh, partially confident say that they will not be able to, if care not taking, they will be sacked even before the end of 2021-2022 league season. You can check it and it will be at least two of these coaches will be sacked because last season 16 coaches sacked their team. This is very new to me. My name is Kofi Atinka. Subscribe to the channel.